Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. This is your boy Manu. And today we are going to talk about how I route GGD in the Reaper. So it's kind of unusual for me to speak in English. Uh, I'm doing this to reach out to foreign friends outside the Philippines. So I'm not an American. I'm a Filipino. English is not my primary lang language for my Filipino countrymen. If I sound awful or if, if my grammar is incorrect, I apologize. I hope I can deliver all the messages and all the thoughts in this video and also share my knowledge about how I route GGD separately on each track. Okay, now without further ado, if you're not yet subscribed to this video, please do subscribe and click that bell notification icon for you to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I will try my best to speak in English for, my, for the following contents, but most of my contents are Tagalog and I hope I have I can have a time adding some subtitles on it. But yeah, since that I am going to teach about or share about my knowledge, how I wrote uh, GGD separately on Reaper, I will be speaking in English language. So I hope I don't mess up. <laughs> let's hope head over to Reaper. All right, guys. So let's try to use the the latest released from ggd which is which is the one kit wonder architects this library is so fantastic sounds really good sounds uh, amazing nolly and the guys from ggd misha nolly matt ades who else joe you guys killed it you always kill it every time you release something it's always you know it's always worth it all right so let's try this out i'm going to add the restream plugin for me to uh stream um the audio from reaper to obs there you go all right guys so uh, let's save this and there you go and the first thing that i do is from the block state if you're going to create a new track you can do it in multiple ways what i love to do is just double click here or double double click here that allows me to create new tracks so in this case, we have the GGD itself. Let's create another tracks. Okay, so what I do is I pull up the mixer from okay, GGD itself. Let's hide the sidebar, the browser. So GGD is just there. So what I do is add tracks and copy what I have in the mixer. So let's add uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I'm gonna label it as is. So kick for kick, snare for snare, tom one, okay, tom two, tom three, and then overheads, and then rooms. The next thing that I do is check. We're gonna use good to go and then uh, engage uh, parallel master EQ. In my case, I, I have a slow computer. My computer is Core i7, third generation. <laughs> pretty old so in medium settings i'm okay with that and the next thing we are going to do is add uh like how many one two so we got we need five more so let's press these outputs and then slide to five click and drag for you to have five there you go i get rid of this one because i don't need this so let's get rid of that one and then the next thing i do is just uh, you know unassign this one because uh, we will be using that channel 11 and 12 later. There we go. Oops. Alright. So this is going to take quite long. So feel free to fast forward. Or I might fast forward this one. Alright. Now that we have a clean uh, outputs. I don't mind having 1718 as output here because we're not using that channel. So what I'm going to do is rename. So I have kick as kick, snare as snare, then tom1 as tom1, tom2 as tom2, uh, tom3 as tom3, and then overheads, overheads. By the way, uh, I think there are a lot of tutorials already out there, so please do check it out. This is my method. If you like it, you can copy this one or you can follow this one. But yeah, uh, it works with other GG delivery as well, especially one for one kit wonder. And the approach that I am using here is the same as um, is ca can also be applied for other ggd library okay so now that we have this okay we have to close down the, the reaper the whole reaper and reload it 
Okay, let's reload that old project. There you go. Triple X. Right. Let's load it up and then assign them. So the output of this fader will be on the kick. And then this one is on snare. Tom one. And Tom two. Tom three. All reds. And then room. If you need to check it there you go it's working fine now now the next step is to we're going to fix the output so we are we're going to need five and six to be on so one two three four five and six okay and then seven and uh seven and eight two four six eight for the thumb one i'm using stereo outputs by the way because i like it and then uh Sorry about that, should be 9 and 10. What is this? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Is it? There we go. And then 11 and 12 for the overheads. Okay, are we right? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 13, 14. For cheese. Is this it? I'm not counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There you go. What? There you go. 13, 14. So 14 channels stereo. Now, the next thing that we need to do is check again. So as you can see on the faders, sounding right and going out on the right stem next thing is yeah uh, let's we're uh the next thing that we're going to do is fix the routing here okay so let's pull up the contact again there you go so what i'm gonna do is the sound of this stem should be uh should output on this stem right here so if it's a snare i should be seeing some signals coming in from the snare fader it's tom and so and so forth so the way to do that is you open you click this one the routing and then new send kick so since now we have since that we have one two so let's select that next is the snare snare is the three, is on the three four channel by the way you have to increase the track channels i like i like selecting 30 so Stereo source, stereo source, three four, and then toms is five six, tom one, stereo source five six, then I'll go on tom two, stereo source. Uh, what do I have there? Nine ten. There you go. Overheads is eleven twelve. Sorry, tom three is nine ten. Okay, let me correct that one. Nine ten, and then tom two goes on seven and eight. So one two three four five six seven and eight tom two there and then uh, next is overheads we've got 11 and 12 for overheads scroll down stereo source 11 and 12 there you go and lastly we've got rooms rooms and so is on channel um 13 and 14 there you go okay so everything should be on the right channel so once you have send or added outputs for each uh stems right there if you you have assigned it you'll have a lot of things like this so let's check one two should be kick kick one two yep right three four child three four is snare yep snare tom one five six tom one five six audio yes seven eight yes and then uh, 9 10 for the tom 3 and then overheads is 11 12 13 14 for the room let's go i think we're right and once we have clicked it there we go guys so the reason why i'm doing this is because sometimes i do want to have some customizations and reamping augment another round of augmentation for each uh track uh, this is the healthy way to do that in reaper 
well, at least for me, this is my method. And this way, I can, you know, manipulate more uh, of the track. Say I want to have more 200 for the snare. So I can boost like 200 more. Make it fatter. More 200. I can do that without changing any anything from the GGD. All right, guys. So I hope you like that small video that I created for you, and I hope everything is clear to my Filipino friends. To my Filipino friends, I hope you like it, and please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click that bell notification icon. Click this video if you like if you like what I've did, and also uh, comment down below if I sounded awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really used to speaking in English, so I hope every context, I hope I have explained it clearly. So yeah, see you around. Until next time, goodbye, have a good day, and let's go.